This is the first in a series of videos created by the FOA on instructor training and certification. While primarily intended for developing and training instructors who teach at FOA approved schools for FOA certification and preparing them for the FOA certification exam for the CFOSI certification. The FOA is pleased to share the same information with anyone interested in teaching fiber optics or premises cabling. So feel free to watch these videos and use the material to improve your own teaching skills. In preparing instructors for taking the CFOSI exam, we will describe the FOA and talk about its purposes. We will define the responsibilities of an FOA approved school. We will show you the standards we use for a good FOA certification class, examining what those classes should cover, and we'll, we'll discuss instructor KSAs the knowledge, skills, and abilities that instructors need to be good teachers. We'll share our resources with you for training and assistance in your work, and we'll give recommendations on how to teach an FOA certification course. What must an instructor know in order to be FOA certified and successfully teach a fiber optics or cabling course? Well, we expect you to know fiber optics or cabling technology so that you may teach the classroom sessions. We expect you to have hands-on skills appropriate to teaching your labs. We expect you to know what the FOA is and how it can benefit the student and share that with your students. You need to know how to teach an FOA certification course. You need to know the requirements for certification, the requirements for curriculum, classroom and lab requirements, and you need to know the paperwork and procedures that make it all happen. Have you already reviewed the KSAs for instructors? If not, you should do so now. Once you are prepared, you can take the CFOSI exam online. It requires having an FOA entry level certification within one year prior to taking the exam, either CFOT or CPCT. The exam covers this material, the material that's in these presentations, plus significant amounts of technical material which you are expected to know if you are CFOT or CPCT certified. If you do not study the material in these videos, you will probably not pass the exam. So we suspect you should be careful to listen all the way through these presentations. We'll also tell you about FOA reference materials that you can use for self-study and for helping teach your classes. There's a term we use in technical circles called CPA, Continual Partial Attention. You always have to assume that a certain part of your audience is going to be listening to this video while they also do email or they're texting or doing something else. But we need your attention. So we're going to tell you pretty much what we tell our students. To turn off cell phones and pagers, and pause this video, or in the case of students in your class, leave the classroom quietly if you must use those devices. For safety reasons, no smoking, drinking, or eating, and keep all work areas clean. We want you to participate in classroom discussions, and you're, we're always pleased to have you comment on these videos. And we want, of course, you to enjoy yourself. We always ask students in our classes to introduce themselves. The instructor should start by introducing themselves, saying who they are, 
what their background is, and what their experience is. We want the same thing from students, who you are, what's your background, what you already know about fiber optics or cabling, why you are in the class, and what you expect to get from this class. I'll start by introducing myself. I have 35 years of experience in communications and fiber optics as an entrepreneur, an author, and a trainer. My career began with the semiconductor industry as they created the chips that made the digital phone system work, and then with companies working in fiber optics. In 1980, my wife Karen and I, and an engineer, founded Fotec, the world's second fiber optic test equipment company, which we sold to Fluke in 2000. For the 20 years we ran Fotec, we probably trained more than 20,000 people in person and hundreds of thousands online where we developed the first online training for fiber optics. We helped found the FOA in 1995. That's our introduction, and when you're ready, continue to part two of this presentation.